The tattoo I'm getting is the, uh, the Freeport Police Department badge. Get it on straight. Ramel Arias wants to always carry the shield of his hero, a Freeport, Texas police officer, badge number 758, an officer on a mission fighting bad guys. What's your number? 758. 758. I wanted to put that uh, 758 as her, because that's her actual badge number, and, and it's actually in her handwriting. Guess who's writing this badge number is? Yeah. Yours. The ink honors his niece, okay. Officer yeah, Abigail like Arias. It's pretty cool, huh? That looks like you. Better? <laughs> yeah? The newest six-year-old boot strutting, cowboy hat wearing, Freeport police officer. What an honor. I promise. I promise. To protect. To protect. And serve. In February, and serve. Abigail was sworn in as a police officer by Chief Raymond Garavan. It was her dream. You couldn't have picked a better role model to put on that uniform and represent law enforcement in general, first responders. Does the police uniform help you fight the bad guys? Mm, yes, sir. It keeps me brave. When she wears it, she wears it with pride. She wears it with dignity. She respects it the way we should respect it. On top of that, she's fighting something that you and I are not fighting. The dream is actually a dying wish. Abigail is battling a rare cancer that has spread through her body. I'm just blessed that we were the, the chosen ones to be able to do her lifelong dream of uh, wanting to be a police officer. Her cancer right now is terminal. It derives from the kidney and it's a rare cancer, but it is common in, in kids. She's fighting for her life. <sighs> so my bad guy did my lungs? Her cancers are called the bad guys. <laughs> and if you ask her, um, she'll tell you that the bad guys are still in there. Oh my goodness. What you do with those? I arrest people. Brian Clevens is the owner of Prison Break Tattoos. He calls it a safe haven for first responders. He's seen it all here, but this work of art left him in tears. Never in my six years have I had someone come in to memorialize a child that's still here with us. Something's giving her strength. Now that I got your badge, I'm always gonna be fighting the bad guys with you. We're gonna beat them bad guys, baby. Yeah? You know I love you, right? You're the strongest, toughest little kid I've ever known. We have to pray that, that she beats this. She has work to do here. I know he wants her up there. But we're going to be a little selfish today. Is that heavy? We need her here. Lord, here we are in this special place with this special little angel. It's like a shield for me too, man, you know? And it's uh, to be able to know that I'm doing this for her and that I have a piece of her for the rest of my life. It's a permanent badge of honor. Where are we going next, Daddy? Ed Lavendera, CNN, Houston, Texas.